Today I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Contra Hardcore for Sega Genesis. This game is known widely as being a very hard game, and it is. I recently played Contra 3 The Alien Wars on Super Nintendo, which is uh, also a really hard but good, good uh, Contra game. This one, though, has multiple characters and alternate paths and all kinds of stuff. Today I'm going to be doing a playthrough with the robot character Brownie. So maybe later on I'll come back and I'll do the other characters, because this is a game where um, it's like separated by character, the different um, paths you can go. So uh, it's a really fun game. I like it a lot. Um, and it's crazy. There's explosions and it's nuts. So let's get to it. It's time to get hardcore. We're going to go with this guy. Our security system has been breached by an unknown hacker. An unmanned robot is running rampant throughout the city. I want you to proceed to the area as soon as possible and restore order. <laughs> Here we go. I got this little intro animation, which is cool. Here we go. Boom. Boom, blow everything up, boom. Blow it all up. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. That's what Contra's all about. Explosions and death. Blowing shit up. Blow it all up. Kill everyone. Everyone's gonna die. Die, motherfucker. <laughs> so much fun. I mean, what else do you really want? God, look at this shit. It's crazy. Boom! Boom! F fuck you! You think you're gonna stand in that tank? You're gonna die standing on that tank. Boom! I'll kill your friend, too. <laughs> oh, God. And then there's a giant spider. Fuck them up. Fuck you, spider. This reminds me of the NES Contra, the earthquake. I'm stuck on there. The earthquake part. I love the NES Contra. The robot. Robots in disguise. <laughs> Guess there is a new uh, Transformers movie coming out. Transformers 5 now. God, how long are those movies gonna go on? When are they gonna do? A G1 Transformers movie. That's what I want to see. Kind of like what they did with the game, Transformers Devastation. Can we have, like, a movie like that, but in the theaters? I wouldn't mind seeing a 3D animated G1-style Transformers movie. That would be awesome. Can we just have one of those movies? Even if, like, they're going to keep going with the Michael Bay movies. Like, whatever. Fine. I guess those make movies make a lot of money. Fine. I guess keep them going. I don't like them. But can we also have like a G1 Transformers movie? Like what's wrong with that? Look at this guy dancing around. This guy's funny. He's fucking funny. And now he's fucking dead. <laughs> Alright, let's grab these guys. C and B. Those are the other weapons. I guess I'll show them real quick. For people that don't know. So you get all these different weapon weapons and you can choose between them. Like, that's that one. So, pretty cool that they do that. It's like one of the big major differences between you know, this Contra and some of the other ones. It separates it. This part's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> so good. So the boss just shot that dude, I believe, is what's going on there, because he's up top. That's not the unmanned robot. Somebody is inside that thing. Eh, eh, eh. Johnny Five alive. <laughs> I like that that's the robot analogy I'm giving to this guy. Like how outdated can I possibly be? Fucking Johnny Five. Do you guys even know who fucking Short Circuit? It was popular. You know what? I mean, the, when this game came out, People were talking about that, so I guess it's fitting to to the game, <laughs> to the time that this was out. God. 
Johnny Five. This fucking guy died. Boom. There he is. What or who are you? Hey, hey, hey. You can call me Dead Eye Joe. Or Curly Joe. If you want to know more than that, then come and get me. Alright, so that is level one, guys. Oh, and by the way, damn, what should I do? And that's why this game's awesome, because you wouldn't have seen that with the first Contra game. Should I do now? Go after Dead Eye Joe. That's what we're gonna do. Fuck Dead Eye Joe. Da -na -na -na. It's the classic Contra music. Look at this game. It's so good. I think that this game really, you know, you hear about people talking about the Genesis feel. This game has the Genesis feel. The sound, colors, just everything. It's so good. I'm switching up the weapon here. And look at this, we're riding a bike now, where the first level we were. Just a lot of variety in the gameplay is a staple of the Contra games. So good. Boom! Fuck you. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, it's chicken mode, we're chicken! Let's grab these. Right. Boom, 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 boom. Get this thing on. Dun -dun -dun. Boom! Fuck you. Mini boss. Oh, look at this! <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> he's like a giant ape. I guess that's what he's supposed to be, I don't know. Whoa. Throwing his maces at me. Fuck you, buddy. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Boom! It's like... This is madness. Blow up. Bite it, you scum. Oh god, is he gonna blow? You can't get away now. Give yourself up. Hehehe, <laughs> you fool. I'm nothing more than a decoy. What is this, Indiana Jones and Crystal Skull? Fucking decoys and shit. Alien cell? Now begins the true war. Damn! <laughs> I can't believe that. Alright. Oh wait, wrong game. His hideout is under a garage dump. Oh my. Bum 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 b
All right. So we have this arrow weapon. Not aim for arrow. But it's a little slower, but I think that overall it's a little bit stronger than the regular blaster that they give you. Boom, boom, boom. Blowing up junk cars. Keep clipping the Cadillac cats. That's where this takes place. Cadillac cats. Oh shit! Shit is getting real now. Whoa. God, the timing. Holy shit. Boom! See? It's all about explosions. Fucker. Alright, we're going to the junkyard. Fuck. Boom. Yeah, I think this weapon is pretty strong. Alright. That, that section is like Mega Man. You're that creep. Hey, hey, hey. Try this on for size. So we went through the two doors like Mega Man. This is kind of like the end of Mega Man 2 with the sort of holographic room with the alien. Except this is a planetarium. Boom, get some A. Get some A. A. And this is Orion. I guess. Boom, get there some B. I'm gonna blow the fuck out of these guys. As soon as I get the chance. Boom! And that's some C, fuckers. You fight well, fool, but let's see if you can handle this. This is nuts. Boom. Like, what do you even do? Look at this shit. It's a fucking Rubik's Cube. Put the Q in the cube. It's Cubert. Me and you. It's Cubert. This guy fucking dead yet or what? It looks like it's game over for you. Don't hurt me. I'm just trying to make a buck. It's not personal. You can save your <laughs> sob story for the people at headquarters. Motherfucker. Alright. Ba -da -da. I believe you heard of him. A hero fought during the Alien Wars. A hero fought during the Alien Wars. Could it be there that they're talking about a Super Nintendo game in a Sega Genesis game? Is that even like. That can't happen, can it? That just can't happen. Mind blown. And these guys are like Blanca. A million Blancas. Fucking die, Blanca. Blanca and all this. Cousins. There we go. Oh, 
Whoa. Oh god. This reminds me of a part from the Ar X-Men arcade game for some reason. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. There's a level that reminds me kind of of this. Similar. But here we go. This slinky weapon is odd but cool. So with the hands and everything, this reminds me of the Death Mosses kind of enemy. When he gets red, get the hell out of the way, right? Yep, just get out of the way when he turns red. Stick and move. Stick and move, Max. Stick and move. That's pretty much the deal. Not really anything too crazy. Boom, there he goes. Like a mini boss kind of. Now we have fucking This goofy ass dinosaur. Alright, oh my god, it's a D pad. things from Alice in Wonderland, the Disney movie. Boom! Are you dead, D-pad? Oh, D-pad's got a friend. Alright, they're combining. Combiner robots. Combiner D-pad. Speaking of D-pad, the uh, D-pad I'm using for this Sega Genesis controller I'm using right now is awesome. It's the there's only one that I really prefer for Sega Genesis, and it's boom. I'm very particular with Genesis controllers, basically. Probably talked about it before. <laughs> Basically, I don't like the really smooth, plasticky kind. I like the more um, rubbery D-pad. Come on, break the door. I should just switch. Boom. Yep. Come on. Oh boy. Shit's getting real. So right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust them apart with this thing. It stops. Shouldn't be a big problem. Nope. So if you remember Contra 3: The Alien Wars, I think it's the second stage or something where you have to climb up and there's like this robot climbing after you and you gotta watch out for its legs and then you gotta shoot it. Um, this section reminds me of that in, in Alien Wars because in that part you just have to kind of walk and try not to get hit. This is like the same thing. I'm like climbing on the wall trying not to get hit and you can't hurt the thing yet. Basically it's a waiting game so I'm just like waiting this out. this is something you just got to have patience. They do that sometimes in these games. Just make you wait it out. And it, you know, the, way this, uh, the way this guy climbs the walls, I'm sure there'll be at least a few comments in the uh, 
that is kind of like Grant from Dracula's Curse on NES. So we waited it out, and now it's time to... He's gonna shoot laser beams. Which you gotta slide under. I wouldn't try jumping over these, because... I've gotten killed trying to do that shit. Boom. Now he's trying to fucking run away. Come on, you fucking pussy. I'm running away now? Look at this asshole running away. Come back and fight. Ceiling. Fuck this guy. Fuck you, buddy. Which way is this thing gonna go? Boom! That's what you do. Kind of just like circle around them. Look at that explosion. Cool boss. Cool boss when you're actually fighting him and he's not running away. That is. This is the end for you. So this scientist basically is doing hybrid experiments on monsters. And you want to... Um, you want to know which thing to use here. See, he's combining all these monsters into one monster. He's crazy. He's a crazed scientist. So I'm using D for the first one. I, I think it matters a lot. You know, again, kind of like Mega Man, you got to know what item to use where. Like on this guy, I think I'm using this is pretty good because, you know, he flies away and that sort of heat seeks towards him. On the plant guys, I like to use this thing because, again, this sort of heat seeks towards this plant and, you know, makes it easy to hit. So, it works pretty good on that. I don't have to worry too much about that thing. So Blanca's combining with a larva thing. <laughs> Boom. So good. So everything's going crazy now. His experiment's being overloaded. And now it's, uh, feed me Seymour. Whoa. Little Shop of Horrors references going on. Whoa, fuck. Fuck you. Die, everybody die. Don't let anybody live. God. Boom! Da -da -da -da. You can't run any, any further. I put more time and I would have created the ultimate bioweapon. Terrible news. The alien cell has broken free. It 
it's running amok and threatening the entire headquarters. What? It was stupid to proceed without the doctor. Yeah, it was stupid. Alright, here we go. Ooh, a bomb. Oh, all the chickens. They're coming out. But this D weapon is really good to have on this part, I think. It shoots in all directions and then it does this kind of, you know, heat seeking shit, so. And look at that explosion. That's fucking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. giant ball sack on the back. Shit. Fuck this thing. Boom. Fucker. I'm gonna switch to this and hope for the best. Sort of shooting in all directions, so that's kind of what I need right now. Quite a safe. Come on, shoot that fucker down there. There we go, that's what I wanted. And this reminds me of the NES Contra. It's like the, you know, the end level. Good. Taking this a little slow, but I just want to make sure I can get through it. Boss time. This guy very much reminds me of uh, one of the bosses from... What's it called? Uh, Contra Alien Wars Super Nintendo. Near the end. Before the heart, I think. God. I'm fucking around here, huh? Got two of these assholes to deal with now. No problem, I'll just jump right through them. I don't mind. God. Yeah, no big deal. Boom, fuck you. God, this game is nuts. A and C. Alright, well, I'm glad that I have some weapons now to actually fight this with. So we're coming up on the end, and this is where the game gets absolutely nuts. Now, this is definitely a hard game, but this last whole level is the hardest part, as it should be, you know? The game should ramp up in difficulty, but it's, it's nuts. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna need every weapon that I've got to get through this end guy. Really tough ending. So, uh, b before the end boss is gonna be, uh, which is a heart. Come on, level. <laughs> Here we go. This is, uh, yeah. I don't know where her name is, but we're gonna take her makeup off. Boom! Take your makeup off. Show your true form. That's right. Show yourself how ugly you really are. It's like the cocoon she broke out of in the background or something. Alright. Yeah, this shit goes.
Ah, damn it. I saw that coming. Damn it. I was trying to be slick there and slide out of the way and everything. Fuck this heart, just die. Boom! Yeah, fuck you. That is the weapon you want to use on that, because it's really strong, the C item. If you don't have that, uh, it's, it's a lot more difficult. And just explosions all over the board. <laughs> this game has more explosions than anything. Looks like I lost this time, but I'll be back. Next time we meet, the outcome will be far different. Ha ha. I'll take you on anytime, motherfucker. You should say that. I mean, it says damn. And that's one of the things that, you know, set this game apart. It's, it's hardcore. They're cursing. There's explosions. Um, I think this game is awesome. Uh, you know, I, I obviously love the Nintendo games Contra, Super Contra. I think as far as difficulty goes, it's on par with the Super Nintendo game. If you play the Super Nintendo game on hard, um, it's it's really, really difficult. And this game's, you know, also really difficult. So, um, like anything, it's like you gotta learn the patterns. So if you play it over and over and over, you'll learn what to do. And, you know, if a guy's gonna be here, you know where to, you know where to move and where to stand and stuff like that. So. It's, you know, it takes a lot of trial and error to, uh, to get good at it, but um, it's a great Genesis game. It's got the classic Genesis sound, you know, uh, Genesis games just sound like Genesis games, and, and this is one of those. Uh, the graphics are great. Um, I like the lighting effects a lot that they do, like when you're hitting the bosses and all that, like the flashing, I think it looks really cool, the explosions obviously, like I said, um, but the best thing about the game I think is the variety. Now I could go through this entire game again and again and again with the other characters, I mean, that's awesome. So uh, like the wolf guy, he has uh, the, the uh, fire, you know, and different different items and what I'm trying to say is there's a there's a lot of re, uh, replayability that the game has, and um, I don't know. I just think it's a great game, and if you uh, if you want to play a good country game, uh, you know you should you should get it. If you have a Sega Genesis and you're into Sega Genesis and you don't have this game, I think you should you know look into getting it. So there you go, and that is Contra Hardcore. It is hardcore for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.